Hey, what's going on? It's I am Beowulf. Man, it's Sunday, fun day, and man, look at the look at the weather going on here. It's been like scattered thunderstorms the whole entire weekend, and uh, I'm heading out. It's like 6:15, so it's almost the end of the day. But I got like really, really sick uh, for the last couple of days, like where I just like needed tons of sleep. I felt really drained out and uh, it's kind of weird because it just like hit me out of nowhere. So I'm feeling better finally. It's better to ride some than none at all. So and it's kind of nice too because it's I'm, the spot I'm going to would be not a place I'd go on the weekend. So hopefully there won't be a lot of people there because like basically everybody's all, all day. And most of the time I don't like to be out all day. Um, you know, it's better to be out there after two o'clock because with the sun, uh, even when you went suntan lotion, you know, you still get exposed to that. And, you know, I've always got to be worried about skin cancer. Plus, too, with all the money I spent with getting uh, tattoos and whatnot, I mean, the longer you stay exposed in the sun, uh, your tattoos fade. And as you can see, man, the guy did awesome work on my stuff. So, I mean, I don't want to have it go to go to crap because I, I'm out in the sun all day. So, I wear like 80 SPF. Also, too, if you're looking and you got tattoos, I use this stuff and it's actually, uh, I have a link up top right now and you can go look at it. It's under, uh, on iambaywolf.com slash gear and it's this ink original. The stuff is awesome. It has like no chemicals in it and it's really good. It's made suntan lotion. It's like on a stick that's more of a gel or a spray and it's specifically designed suntan lotion for people with tattoos because uh, a lot of this stuff like you go to the local store whatnot with suntan lotion it has a lot of junk in there and especially when you have art like mine has all different color and, and it's not gray and black uh you definitely want to use the right stuff so you don't get your tattoos wrecked and uh it's a piece of art so i like to make sure i take care of it and that's just kind of i want to give a heads up to anybody of tattoos check it out um stuff's awesome i've been using it now for a couple of couple months at least three months stuff's just awesome uh plus two like when you, a lot of people if you haven't got a tattoo like if you're looking to get a tattoo you don't want to get something during the summertime because it's going to take weeks after you got it done a long time more than two weeks so you can be out of the sun because your skin is just going to hurt when you're out in straight sun and uh that's why I, there were some other tattoos i wanted to recently get and i'm like holding off because i was like oh should i do it then it'll be like weeks and weeks and weeks where I can't ride and go out in the sun. So I'm probably just going to wait closer to fall with uh, what the stuff I'm going to get. So when it's a little cooler out, then I can just cover up anyways and don't have to worry. Um, but hopefully it doesn't rain. I mean, it just looks like rain. But I'm going to go out and, and I'm taking out the 2018 CDU RXT X300. <laughs> and see if we see anybody watch the channel out, out on the water. And uh, let's get it going. So, there we go. All right, so I'm out here. Cruise out all the way before hitting the camera on. It is like for a Sunday, there's nobody out, but I am coming at the end of the day. But this is kind of how I like it, because we're, there's just really nobody out here. The hard thing is you don't want to come out here like the weekend where there's a lot of people drinking and whatnot. And I don't know, it's better be safe. So, but it's, I wish there was a little bit more people. There's just nobody out here. This feels like a weekday, which is kind of nice. And uh, I'm gonna cruise down a little down that way and then head back. I got like like 45 minutes of light left, so a fair amount of time. And uh, also too, if people on the RXTX, if you didn't know, you can adjust these handle, the handlebars right here, pull this lever, lever and bring it up and down. So like, you'd want to have it up high like this, like if you're standing up, which is kind of nice too, because then the speed is straight pointing down which is a pretty cool cool feature i know i'm thinking about replacing the handlebars with the reva one but I, that's if reva racing actually gives me a call <laughs> they were supposed to call me about something and they never called me so i don't know just calling you out
That's why today I launched where I did because the hard thing when I launch in this other boat launch, it takes like an hour to get here and I'm already here. And I took my time to get here and I still have like nearly a full tank of gas. So kind of cruise down a little down this way and see what's going on because this is definitely all the people that are on the water are out here. Now the crazy thing, what I was just told uh, a couple days ago, or maybe it was yesterday, I'm, right now there's so there's like Myrtle Beach, this is considered Socrates, um, this whole area. And I think just like a couple days ago they caught, I don't know where, if it was on land, I think it was at a golf course. So it actually could be, could be this golf course right here. Because um, I'm guessing the water Socrates. They caught like a 10 foot alligator on, on the golf course and like just right now passing by before pulling the camera out, you know like people swimming and i got no life by a sign and, you know if or not an alligator would kill you if you don't have a life by sign most of the time how an alligator works taking out something uh it drowns whatever it is so if you don't have a life vest on you know you just get pulled right under and they won't let you come back up and uh I don't know. I think some people, they just don't know that there exists. So they're just out swimming like, yeah, whatever. And it's interesting. I had to find the clip or the photo. So if you look earlier on when I used to have the Yamaha Wave Venture, there was this private lake, Lake Holiday. It was in Samanac, Illinois. That's where my parents, when I grew up, uh, when I was younger, that's where they, they still had the lake house. And uh, just recently there, huge catfish monster catfish was just caught there i think the catfish was like 45 35 or 45 pounds i mean that's like that's big for a fish or a, a lake a small lake so i'll show a clip right there and you can see how big it is and uh it's crazy because i remember i was a little kid man like i told you guys in the past i saw jaws when i was like three four years old over at a friend's house and all life was but like hair petrified going in the water i'd go in the water but i was scared and man there was something really to be scared of that's why i think those people out there they're i think a boat came by them but i mean may stuff won't happen to you and may something will but you just never know what's in the water here and um i bet you it's safe for people to go in i mean i'm not saying like you shouldn't go in the water i mean you just, just know there are are sharks and alligators and all that kind of stuff in the water here so it doesn't happen to everybody and who knows if it does happen it just doesn't make the news but i figured give you guys that like there was a 10 foot alligator caught here and they were trying to go after it and the sad thing is, is when they try to go after them they just kill them they don't relocate them from what i was told from somebody else that knows somebody who does that for a living uh in the area so that's kind of disappointing you know because again moral of the story this is their their land not ours Usually, if you didn't know, like when you see a raccoon during the day, it means it has rabies. So, which is almost dust, so it probably doesn't, but yeah, it's like, 
that's crazy. That thing was like zipping. I don't know if I'll try to, if I've already edited this and see if I can zoom in to when I saw it at the corner of my eye. That's kind of what I always want to ride in. I'm paying attention. Oh, hell yeah. Check what's coming our way. Woo! Woo! The video just got interesting. software than what I've been using because it's never consistent of it getting up to speed and uh yeah there I can only tap out at 75 and uh luckily it, I kind of held the win on that but it was hard with that boat coming straight at straight at at me when I was going but uh yeah I'm not gonna say names but if you watch press videos and it's not knocking somebody it just I want I want something consistent with this jet ski running a certain speed. But yeah, it, to go topping out, like I was full throttle and sitting farther back. Give or take, there is some fuel in the stuff, but it's waiting down the back and doing 75. But I don't really want to talk about it, but I'm, I just like, don't like that the speed's never consistent in this jet ski. Um, and I ain't gonna figure out what to do to get this to run what it should be running consistently. I take very good care of my stuff and it just kind of upsets me that it's kind of running consistent of not running that fast, so. At least that one.
but if you haven't picked up any of your I Am Beowulf merch, I'll have a link at the top and the bottom. Prep some of it. I have hats, tank tops, t-shirts, and hoodies. Even though it's almost uh, summertime, some areas like the Midwest, it's kind of cold, so you still need a hoodie. And uh, it's about the end of the video. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, smash the subscribe button. Uh, if you haven't checked me out, follow me on Instagram. It's I am underscore Maywolf. And that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.